I at least wanted to show this to you guys because I thought this was worth uh, sharing. That if you have uh, money, you can get like specific S tier champions who are godly certain content. It's actually kind of laughable. Uh, two minutes, less than 50 turns to it. I don't expect all of you guys to have these champions. I'm not saying, hey, build this team or build these champions. Just showing this to you. It is what it is. I'll, I'll show you guys how I ran it just to share it with you guys. All right, so here I am coming in from the future post edit. Uh, I realized as I'm editing this that my audio is just completely annoying and even I wouldn't stand to just sit there. So I'm going to re-record this and re-record uh, another video that I was doing. But um, I'm going to redo the Amius fight here for you guys just because, uh, you know, it, I moved my mic, right? So my mic was down here right in front of me, but the issue was because it was right in front of me, it was kind of in the way and taking up a lot of my screen. So I actually moved it up here. You guys can't see it. I moved it up there so that it's kind of out of the way. But let me know what you guys think. I'm still deciding if that's the position I want to take, if that sounds full enough, if it sounds good enough. I'm still working on the settings for the gain, the limiter, the noise compression, the noise gate, etc. All that I'm still learning about that. So thank you for being patient. Let me go ahead and rerun this, guys, and talk you guys through it. With Pytheon, we're going to start off with his A1. A crazy start off with the A1-2. Both of our nuts are going to just use their A2 to place the counterattacks because um, we can and we're not going to have to worry about it getting taken away quite yet. Now, his next move is going to be a stun. So we want to make sure we're placing the block buffs. Another thing, the reason why I didn't start off with the EMHP moves is because his A2 heals him by the amount of damage that he places. So that's why I didn't want to do that quite yet. Because we had block buffs on, we didn't get the stun. And now what we're doing is waiting after we use uh, Macrizia's... Uh, EMHP moves, we're waiting until it's time for everybody's moves to come back to us. And this is just the entire cycle. Everybody's just going to use the A1s until it's time. We're still keeping track of this counter here when he's about to transform to his next move. And we want to make sure that we're saving. Uh, we don't want to use that yet because he's going to steal it or remove it or something like that. Now he's in his next form, his attack form. Everybody goes to sleep. Even if he does kill somebody, we're going to be a-okay. And here we can use the A1. We're going to be saving until it's time to make sure we're there for the cleanse. Using EA MHP moves. And we can use our A2 here as well. And we're not going to place that quite yet. So he killed Nut. We're going to be okay though. And we're going to bring him back. Or we can actually place the... Let's see, should I block? No, I think I should bring him back. We'll be fine. So here we go. Missing one nut. Oh, and there you go. Soul Reap actually comes through and saves the day. So we just beat our time again. One minute, 43 seconds, and 43 turns, even though nut died. I was going to bring him back, and the other recording actually brought him back, and he was able to help, but, you know, it is, it is what it is. So again, guys, this is not a completely free-to-play team. I understand that. It's completely pay-to-win. But I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it had at least some entertainment value to it. Um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you guys real quick how everybody's built. It's not beyond the, the realm of reason, especially in today's day and age where there's a lot of Krakens out there. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one with a Pythion. Um, so it's not with a... It's not outside the realm of reality that there are Krakens out there who have accounts like this. I mean, this account has is, is a complete Kraken account. Two Acrisias and two Nuts is, is just crazy, along with the gear to match. So, you know, just sharing this team with you guys. Pytheon is in Stone Skin. He doesn't have to be in Stone Skin. The only thing that matters with Pytheon is that he has high HP and high enough defense and a good amount of speed. So 100k HP. 3.6 defense, 286 speed, and, you know, the resistance, he goes in with some extra resistance, about 60. Uh, you probably want to have more just to resist a lot more of the debuffs, but I don't think his resistance played a big role in the fight against Amius. I think the biggest thing was his survivability, his ability to cleanse, as well as place block buffs at the appropriate times as well as the healing that comes from his A2, his A1, and his overlay passive, which decreases the damage 
from skills coming from Amius based on the um, amount of buffs that we have. So you saw that Acrisia and Nut were placing shields or they're replacing their counterattacks. Those are all things that help to add to the damage mitigation. If you guys want, here are the masteries on Pytheon. Don't blindly copy masteries, but feel free to blindly copy these masteries. Both nuts are basically going to be built out the same. Savage. This one's in Savage. So is this one. And their stats are pretty much going to be the same. What I'm looking for is around 5k defense. His damage is from defense. Around 250% crit damage. And then make sure he's crit, ca uh, crit capped with 100% yeah, make sure he's crit capped and then a decent amount of speed around 250. This one is going at 249, so about 250, crit cap, 250, crit damage, and then about 5.6 k defense for the damage. Oh, let me show you guys the masteries. Taking Giant Slayer, you could also take Helm Smasher, there's nothing wrong with that. There go. Move myself back here. And let's look at the Acrisias. I, I know that a lot of people don't have Acrisias, just sharing it. You never know. Merciless. This is a five-piece Merciless set. We are not exactly utilizing six pieces yet because we're still waiting for that type of gear to pop through. Maybe something on the chest, maybe something on the amulet, but you know how that it works. Once I once and then once a six-piece does come through, then this account can have 35% ignore defense, or this Acrisia can have an extra 35% chance to... A six piece would definitely make Acrisia smack harder, but as it is right now, even though um, both of these Acrisias are built differently, they're doing about the same damage in something like Hydra. First Acrisia, 220 speed, crit cap, 250, 7.2k attack. Pretty tanky. Her damage is off of the enemy's max HP, off of Archon's max HP, as well as her own HP and her attack. So make sure you're building her with, um, you know, damage stats, but including HP and attack. Here are her masteries. Second Acrisia is going to be in Savage. Her stats are going to be 5.4k attack, 255 speed. 100% crit rate and 250 crit damage. And then here are her masteries taking Helm Smasher. Me personally, if I have a tool that can make things easier or make things faster, uh, just like driving a car instead of walking, I think I would definitely do that. But I can definitely see somebody who would feel proud about doing things, I guess, the right way or the way that it's meant to be. So if you're one of those big brain people who actually took down Amius the right way, then go ahead and share your team down below. I'd be interested to hear your, your comments. And who knows, maybe somebody reading your comment will be able to benefit from this.